Hey y'all, this is Pam again with Mason Lance Designs, and today I'm coming back with another Zoom Nose tutorial on the Shape Tool. And I'm sorry that it's been so long um, till I got this one up. I mentioned in another uh, video that I was going to go back and do this when I was showing um, a video about links, and I realized I never did. So here's um, the Shape Tool. So the first tab up at the top says style. I'm sorry, you can see right here under the little calendar looking icon that's the one under that's colored in is the shape tool icon. So the first little um, section up here is the style. And as you see, you can have five different shapes to choose from. You have the uh, square, then there's the oval, and then the uh, pentagon, but you can also change how many sides it has. So it starts as a pentagon, but you know that's the icon it shows, but you can change it to whatever shape you want. This one is the same thing. You can put as many little star sections as you want, or as few. Okay. And then we have the uh, diamond, or the sideways diamond. Now if you click, uh, just I'll show you, I'll, I'll come out and draw it. Okay. And I can change its shape. It doesn't, you know, it loses its proportion. But if I come back over here and I click on symmetrical, it'll be symmetrical. Well, it still does. I'm sorry. It just comes out as a perfect shape. I mixed that up. And so um, it just comes out as a, as a perfect square, you know, symmetrical shape. Okay, I'm sorry, let's go back to the square. So the same thing here. You've got um, symmetrical or uh, not symmetrical where you can just draw a rectangle or draw a perfect square. Okay, so when we draw the square, we can have several options. Let's see if I can scroll in so we can see. It has corner radius where you can round the corners and you can even put in a specific number if you want to, because sometimes, you know, when you're scrolling through, it's not going to stop exactly where you want it. So, you know, there's that option. Then there's a drop shadow, as you can see right behind it. Um, you have the drop shadow effect. Um, and that's with any of the shapes. As you can see, as I'm clicking, that's pretty cool. You can see each shape in that example. Okay, and then of course there's the height and width of the shape. And then the next um, tab at the top is the border. We can choose whether we want to have a border or not and whether it's um, solid or like dashed. Because right here is dashed. Let's see if, yeah, I will have to redraw this shape in order to use the new features we've just chose. So add a border and I'm going to make it of uh, the border with five. It's kind of thick, but it's a little easier to see this way. So I'm going to draw the shape and you can, you can see it a lot easier when it's dashed. Let me see if I can get it to change to the dashed while it's being chosen or selected. Yes, it does. So then you can have a dashed border if you want. And um, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Well, let me turn it back on. Okay, look up there um, at the shape inside the little box and see when it says soft and solid. And just the soft just kind of blurs it. It's not quite as crisp. So that's what that does there at the bottom. And then of course, I forgot to mention uh, back here at the first tab too. This is just the style of the shape of what you want. The next one is the border and you can choose whatever color you have in your palette. So you can, you know, design it however you want to. You can change the border width to be something very, very fine or you can make it, I'm sure, as thick as you like. 
Well, the next section at the top here is the fill section. And again, you can pick whatever color you want from your color palette, but the difference, uh, something you can change here, I keep pressing the wrong icon, I'm sorry guys, is the opacity. So you can change if you want it to be full color, or if you want it to be, you know, kind of see-through, you can change the opacity here. You can also enter a number, you know, as in other things. And you can also, you know, play around with, uh, the gradient. Okay, let me go back. You can play around with the gradient on it. I don't do a whole lot with that, so I'm not really going to touch on that. Sorry, but I'm sure it's similar to other um, apps that you know that you use to mess around with the gradient. Okay, so let's go back to flat, and then you can turn off the fill to where you just have shape, a dashed shape. Okay, so you can have a shape without a border and a border without a shape. So you can, you know, design however you want to. Um, and then this last, last section is um, a save section. So if you've drawn a shape that you want to use again, um, you can uh, save it. And then if you get to where you find you're saving so many, you can group them together. But another place you can save it is in the symbols tool. And I've done a video on that. Okay, anything that you can lasso and it selects like that, anything at all you can put inside the symbols tool. So it really, it's just preference on whether you want to save it, you know, right here in the save portion or if you want to um, put it in your symbols. And then the last thing you notice it popped up. We had uh, just a couple of, we only had like four options up here, but once I clicked on um, the little line box we have and came back over here and clicked on the icon, it added two more. One is the link feature and I have a video on that and I'm getting ready to do another one about how the links work. And then the other one is to pull in an image. And I'm not exactly sure how this gets set up because I don't use my images that way. I'm sure it might be for masking or something. And I think there's other ways that you can do masking on here. So um, so that's the shape tool. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And if you um, like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want notifications to um, see more videos from Zoom Notes and from me. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.